Meanwhile, Britain's top coronavirus advisor has quit after he broke the lockdown rules. Pakistan, on the other hand, has reported its highest death toll in a day. These stories and more on the Gravitas coronavirus tracker. Top British epidemiologist Neil Ferguson has resigned. He broke lockdown rules by allowing a woman into his home. Ferguson had been advising the British government on the pandemic response. Pakistan claims many of its citizens returning from the UAE are infected. Pakistan has accused the UAE of not screening people before allowing them to return. The UAE government has dismissed Pakistan's claims. Nearly 58,000 students returned to school in Wuhan, the original epicenter of the pandemic in China. 121 high schools and vocational schools opened their gates for students. All faculty and students had to undergo health tests prior to their return. Taiwan has accused global health officials of being dishonest. It says world bodies have failed in their responsibilities. The island claims its absence from the upcoming World Health Assembly would harm global response to the pandemic. The territory of 23 million people has reported only 438 cases of coronavirus. The Spanish Prime Minister has sought parliamentary approval to extend the state of emergency. Pedro Sanchez says lifting lockdown early would be an unforgivable error. Current measures will expire at midnight on Saturday. The Conservatives have opposed the move. The mayor of Manos in Brazil has appealed for international aid. He has written a letter to 21 embassies and sent video messages to world leaders. Mayor Arthur Neto is seeking scanners, ventilators and PPE. Mass graves are being dug in cemeteries as the region reported 459 deaths. Pakistan reported its highest single-day death toll. 40 people died in Pakistan in the last 24 hours due to coronavirus. More than 22,550 people are infected in Pakistan. The death toll stands at 526. Indonesia has postponed local elections from September to December. President Joko Widodo has signed an emergency decree. Elections for post of governors, mayors and district chiefs will now be held in December. Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez and other Barcelona stars return to the club's training ground. Players will undergo mandatory medical tests this week. The Spanish government has relaxed lockdown measures. Players have been allowed to train individually. A retired farmer has been given an honorary degree by New York. The farmer and his sick wife donated one of their five N95 masks for medical workers. Dennis Rookme was two credits shy of a degree when he left school due to the death of his father in 1971. Andrew Cuomo called the farmer an inspiration and his donation humanity at its best.